Ah, hello there everyone, it's me again, John Dole, here on the uh, Ghost Layers Report. With an... Now we're doing um, a Comrades Let's Talk video, where I talk to you guys directly, and we discuss, you know, like the, the channel, what's going on, and of course a, a, an overall topic. Now, one of the big things that I've decided to do recently was try to have a second channel again. Now, some of you who follow the GLR Tokyo Facebook page might have remembered a few videos I posted from a completely s separate channel with a different account and all that rigmarole quite a while ago. And I posted a few videos and then I, that stopped. The reason for that was it was very difficult to maintain two completely separate accounts. It was rather annoying to go back and forth. But, you know, there's been some changes to YouTube. And now, you can have multiple channels with the same account. Well, that's wonderful. You know, something I've wanted for a long time. So, I decided to try a second channel again. Now, the name of it is Drinking with a Marxist. It's going to be a lot more casual, a lot more laid back. Uh, I'll probably do videos on a variety of things here in Japan, talk about different types of stuff. Hopefully, we can have a little fun with that. So, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to start uploading on there, but I will in the near future. Of course, here the main channel, regular uploads, don't worry about that. So that's a little bit of news about what I'm doing here online recently. Now let's get on to the topic here. The big thing I want to talk about here is that this idea, you know, that I hear a lot of people say, a lot of reactionaries, a lot of general dicks, and assholes say that, you know, fuck all you commie bastards. You all deserve to die. All you people care about is murder and death. And you have no idea of humanity. You're all cold, crazy, psychopaths. Really now? You know, that's quite the statement to make. And I know what is based on is based on all this shit that's been drilled into your head about the history of socialism and communism and the history of these movements and some of the more key figures of it but you should know and I'm not the one to point you exactly to where you need to look but you do need to do this if you really want to be educated and be able to have a proper discussion with anyone that all these things you know that you feel are so true about us are based on facts and information delivered to you by people who support capitalism. People who benefit extremely from it. And also a lot of different fascist groups who have produced videos and documentaries damning the hell out of uh, socialism or communism because it, it contradicts what they want what they believe is the right way to do things. So you get all that drilled into your head, especially Americans. Especially Americans. And I'm, you know, was born and grew up in America myself, although I don't live there and have not lived there and, you know, for several years. I have no plans to really reestablish myself in the United States anytime soon. 
But yeah, a lot of Americans, you know, are so. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little, a little cold right now. But a lot of Americans, you know, and British, you know, in general, you know, people from the first world, when you speak about communism or socialism, Marxism, and you speak about us, the advocators of it, and people who push for it, you're full of shit. You really don't know what the hell you're talking about. You haven't taken the time to actually study it. Read the theories. Read those who led this stuff, who started all this. What they wrote. And then learn what they really did. You know, we say there's two ways to learn about history. You can read about history, or you can read history. And a lot of times what people do is read about history. And in one of the books that promotes this idea of reading about history is this infamous book called The Black Book of Communism. Dun, dun, dun. It was a hit piece, an expose, supposedly, against, you know, socialism, Marxism, and communism in general, written by some, you know, rich, privileged, bourgeois academics. It's where you get all these millions and millions of deaths by Stalin and Mao, you know, and how evil and brutal Lenin was. Oddly enough, and you should know this, although I doubt, you know, you're going to even believe me or bother with this, is that those same rich, privileged academics who wrote that book, several years after it was published, admitted that there was no basis for any of the numbers or supposed facts they included in that book. They debunked themselves. So when you go on and on, how many millions and millions of people those evil commies killed, you should know that where you get your numbers from and these supposed facts come from one book. A book that those who wrote it debunked it themselves. Who literally said, we made this shit up. Sorry. Oops. So you have this propaganda floating out there, which is rather frustrating for us. Because you believe in a hook, line, and sinker without looking at actual history. What these people actually did, what these people actually wrote, and how these people actually lived their lives. You won't look at that. Not at all. But I encourage you to. For once. For once in your life. Just try it. See what happens. If you can calm yourself enough. Instead of being a fly off the handle reactionary. Think man, think. And on that note, there's one more point I want to make. People give all this hate towards us. Look to defame us. Look to cause any damage they can to us at all. But do you know who these dirty commies actually are? Well, I know who they are. These people are workers, mothers, fathers, marginalized, oppressed, even your next door neighbor. 
They can be the guy who checks your parking ticket. You go to park it in your carport every day. They can be the guy that serves you that nice dinner at that fancy restaurant you went to. They can be um, even the homeless guy who says, please sir, please sir, give me a few, a little bit of money. I'm so damn hungry. I'm freezing to death, man. At least let me eat. They're the unemployed. The underclass. Who well, you want to keep on kicking in the dirt. And you want to say, well, because majority of them are like that, well, they must like being that way. So why? It can't be helped. Yeah, you're backwards logic. Those are the people you're saying, die, you're evil. You think about that, okay? You think about that. Next time you want to open your trap and say some vile shit about your fellow human beings. Sit there and you want to misunderstand Marxism. You want to misunderstand socialism. You want to say that we wish to destroy all individual, all individuals. Make them machines and robots. Nah. That has never, ever, ever been the goal of any Marxist, any actual Marxist, or any socialist society. It's been about trying to reconnect us as human beings. Bring us closer together. So we we'll all work together. So everybody benefits from everyone's effort. And we can create a society based on love and compassion and togetherness. But in that process, yeah, some bad things are going to go down. But not so much for us, but for you. Because when the underclasses rise up, guess who they come for? You, the privileged, the capitalist, the bourgeois. That's why you hate it so much. Because you know that these people you laugh at, you kick in the mud, you heckle, you talk all this shit, you talk all this shit about. If they rise up, yeah, man. Your ass is grass. Literally. You'd be pushing up daisies. And you know it. And we know that. As Mao himself said, revolution is not a dinner party. It's an ugly affair. So that's all we're going to say for now. I've given you a lot to think about. And I do hope you think, study, and realize the shit that comes out of your mouth on a routine basis without understanding or looking at any material conditions, actually knowing what the hell you're talking about. So until next time, Mr. John Doe right here in Tokyo, checking out, eh?